Hey guys, my name is Tyler Dean and I am a member of our Global Formula Racing team here at Oregon State University. I am doing my senior project to help design this formula car um, that we race in Germany, Michigan and Austria and are actually entering our fourth competition this year uh, going to Spain. So uh, this car will go 0 to 60 in about 4.2 seconds and lateral it or, and will corner at 2.8 lateral G's. Um, it's it's a very fast car, very fun to drive, and uh, it kicks butt. It's great. So before this car could be built, it had to be designed. And um, what happens is everyone gets together and designs the car in a 3D program. Um, called, it's a CAD program called Com Computer Automated Software. And everybody gets together and works on a different part. So one person's going to work on the, just the front wing right here. Someone else is going to work on getting this chassis shape. Someone else is going to work on getting this roll bar in here. I, my specific part involved this entire drivetrain here, which spans from the spindle inserts all the way in here down to the drive shafts in with the stub shafts you've got your CV joints CV joints running here all the way down to the differential and as you see this looks a lot like the car that we looked at earlier um, and right here is the part that I was working on it's kind of hard to see so I'm going to open it up in a new window and that part that I was working on right there that I made was um, designed completely in a 3D modeling program. And everything from this diameter to this to this radius here, everything is specified to be per length exactly what it needs to be. And that way when we piece the whole car together in the software we can tell um, we, we can tell how big things and how big and how small things really need to be. Um, over here is the part that I'm currently working on. This is the end cap for the differential. And um, so you can see here, we have uh, this, this side right here is gonna go right onto the differential itself, uh, which is a limited slip differential with three clutches on it. And uh, the sprocket will hit right on this side right here. And so this, the sprocket is gonna turn your entire diff, which is then gonna turn the drive shafts, which come right out of this hole right here. And so right now what I'm working on is um, these holes were not quite to the right size. And so right now I'm reaming, I'm reaming them out with a, this is basically a very, very, very accurate drill, drill bit that will ream out these holes to the perfect diameter to fit um, the right size bolt in it. So here I am reaming the hole. Um, and the thing is, you have to go really, really slow with these things because they are making things as accurate as half a thousandth of an inch. And as you can see all those birds that are coming up here. I'm going to pull this out. And all those birds right there, that little, all, all that kind of, it looks like pixie dust almost. Um, all that coming out is just getting that hole exactly perfect. Make sure you use lots of lubricant. 